Hello, my name is Jeremy Wade and I am your Canadian Reef Master. Today I'm headed out to get a new coral. This coral is coming from a local reefer who's had it grown in his nano tank for some time. This coral has got too big so he fragged it up and I'm going to grab a piece of it for my tank. I think it will give a great color contrast to the other coral and think it's going to look great. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's see what I get. I'm back from my adventure across the city to get my new coral. The coral looks absolutely beautiful. The local reefer who had this coral in his tank didn't realize how big some coral grew and needed to make a little bit of room. So I thought it would look great in my tank. But then I thought, do I have any room? Not really. I was gonna get some Acroporas and this is not an Acropora. So let's get this coral dipped and get the coral in the tank so that I can check it out and see if I, I can make do with one more coral or two. Although coral are self-acclimatizing, I did do a temperature acclimatization and a partial water acclimatization before I prep this coral for dip. In order to ensure there's no hitchhikers, I will scrape the base of the coral using coral clippers and use the toothbrush to clean the coral of any debris or particles. I also remove the frag base from the coral and place the coral onto a new frag plug for placement in my tank. I will use a coral dip after I've mounted on the frag plug. I use Coral RX. This is an irritant that will cause any parasites or flatworms or any other bugs to drop off the coral. I dip the coral for two to three minutes as I agitate it in the water. I'll often use an iodine dip as well for an antiseptic. This I'll use local solution. However, I am out of this at this time. I am now ready to place the coral in the tank. As you can guess, this is a Euphelia species or a torch coral. For the new reefer, it is important to remember that it is okay to group the torch corals together as they are within the Euphelia genus. However, don't let them touch other corals such as the hammers and the frog swans which belong to the genus Fimbrophilia. It is, however, perfectly okay to group the Fimbriophilia together so you can have your hammers touching your frog spawn or your octospawn. This green torch is a yellow tip variant and I think it's going to look absolutely beautiful next to the other torches in my tank. It looks absolutely beautiful with its yellow tips as it starts to expand. I hope you enjoyed this video of my new coral. If you enjoy reef videos and aquarium related videos, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.